Hello there everyone and welcome back. I think I'm gonna have a little bit more fun with the Adeptus Mechanicus. Hell, it's kind of being a theme right now where I do at least two episodes on each of the factions before jumping off to the next. Although at least in this case, my justification for it is I would like to try and face off against more like the traditional type of fleets, the Imperial Navy, the Chaos Fleets Tau, and of course the more mobile centric type of fleets since face off against only Orcs and Necron don't really well I don't know what I'm trying to say there but simply put it's really damn convenient and really damn easy for my Novocans to connect when even their base movement won't allow them to dodge the Novocans at all so in some ways I could fire them preemptively just to force them to boost out in preparation for multiple other Novocans to hit them so I would like to try against something that at least will be where my Novocans are not as impactful for a fight potentially that is what I'm hoping for anyway. It remains to be seen if that's what actually happens, but otherwise, I like this fleet as I like this fleet as it is. It's just, again, the lack of Novocans, if they don't connect, is the argument for what kind of firepower do I have, since technically I only have four capital ships, as opposed to six of the Imperial Navy, and they have torpedoes for the close range type of bombardment. Where my Novocans especially since they're longer range dependent, kind of are, can be dodged to a relatively easy extent. Which is why I like the torpedoes mostly, but I love the potential of the Novocans. Maybe not when they're all Novocans though, which may explain why I enjoyed the Lance-centric type of Imperial Navy fleet that I've been playing with, around with here and there for so long. But we'll make it work either way, and see if we can continue to get some more victories with this fleet. Okay, I guess we're going to get something different after all. And we're facing against Asigos again. So now the big prediction. Are we dealing with Impalers or not? Either way, with the sheer boarding potential that is the Jukari, I am pretty damn vulnerable. Although, thankfully, I learned something very important with the potential of Disruption Overcharge. Since it can pause the regeneration at the fair least, but... It doesn't seem like it actually drains it, as weird as the wording says here. So that's maybe something I could take advantage of, to at least put constant pressure on my opponent. The main trick will be to be... The trick is to stagger at least my lances, since it is after all a 10 second delay, and with my reload being 12 seconds, it's very unlikely I'm going to have my Nova or Macrocans join me, since I am going to probably want to chase them still after all. Otherwise, how do I feel about this matchup? I don't know if I feel as optimistic, especially as I did with my Imperial Navy fleet. Since again, I have a lot less hit points. My crew is very easily to get very easy to get killed, is another factor. But at least now there's a possibility of Fukulex's assassin helping out as well. Possibly. Remains to be seen, though, if that's true. But if I can somehow hit with the Novocans, kind of by forcing the boost out, maybe I'm in good shape. And these ships are just going to hang back, but with their mobility, I'm probably not going to boost with them. going to try not to, and hell, we're going to have a direct confrontation coming up as well, it seems like. Maelstrom. I like the possibility, Maelstrom. Hmm. Mecha Dominator when I force a mutiny. I like to go after engines is the problem, but it can synergize well with the Kulex's Assassin, but I have to force emergency repairs and all that first. Calculating vectors. This is gonna be a little bit of experimentation, I'm not gonna lie. The enemy has seized a strategic area. And this looks like what I think it is, possibly just uh the standard impaler type of fleet. The enemy has seized a strategic area. So I wanna be careful these ships getting sniped down. It'll make my life a little bit more convenient. And I will have let's see, I do have a beacon as well, so area denial. I should have gone. I should have gone for burn retros there, in all honesty. But or not burn retros, but brace for impact. 
You have seized a strategic and we'll area. See. We'll keep an eye on how this plays out. I'm assuming those are fighters, but easily enough, I'll have my own fighters to support. I just gotta remember there's only two charges of them. Well, isn't that annoying? That always infuriates me to see that happening every single time. I was looking for those cursed things too. But do my fires snap, snag them? Yes, they do. If only very damn briefly. With matchless efficiency. You have seized a strategic area. No. We are ready to I'm going to switch the brace for impact in a moment. I should have been aware that they were likely to pull this maneuver, but. Calculating vectors. I would like to fire Nova, uh, Nova Cam, but I don't think it's going to do a whole lot for me. Rouse the engines. All right. I do have the ability to boost, and I have Nova Cans. Keep that in mind. State your order with matchless efficiency. Now, the only thing I don't know if that hit or hits or not. That's the one downside of this, but. And I burnt both my uh, emission dissipator. Not mission dissipator, but. What am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. Optimal course set. Let's see if this works as I'm expecting it to. Alright, someone just wants to kill my frigates. Or they already given up, with, which is a possibility as well. I can't launch any fighters, sadly, but I do have the point defense at least. I don't know what the hell to make of this anymore. I don't know if my opponent's just given up or what. I'm a little disappointed. Truth be told. I did not see if one of those were the flagship either. Which I'm pretty certain the flagship is the one with the, the fighter bays. Kill this. Kill it now. And, oh, careful, I'm going to ram myself, aren't I? And I did lose one of my fighters. Alright, get out, boost out. Engage ancient red lines. See if we can chase them down. But let's let's keep an eye on the fact that we need objectives still. Rouse the engines. Like that. To serve the Omnisire. With matchless efficiency. State your order. Engaging drive. Now sadly. I don't think this is going to work as well as I like, but I can at least reactivate the frigate this way, which I will get to do in a moment. And that is now visible for all to see. Engage electromagnetic baffles. The spirits obey. Let's not get too carried away, though. Machine spirit appeased. Thruster routines active. Machine spirit appeased. You have seized a strategic area. Now you are also hidden, so you're going to be a nightmare. Rouse the engines. Possibly, but order. we got to get you out of this thing first. Receiving your order. 
Cell signature detected. Rouse the engines. Engaging drive. Rouse the engines to fury. Calculating vectors. To serve the Omnisire. There's one thing left to do now. You have accumulated 50% of strategic points. Let's not get too excited just Engaging yet, but... Does not compute. There, that's going to force the mutiny. Let's destroy the deck. Machine spirit appeased. Engage chrysalis protocols. Deck's not going to get destroyed yet, but... We are well underway. Battle protocols engaged. State your order. And I still got boosters, so keep that in mind. Does not compute. Transition begun. Does not compute. With matchless efficiency. It's pretty much already dead at this point, but you never can tell these days. Receiving your order. Calculating vectors. And that's gonna slow. Okay, so it boosts in everything, but we're still hitting it. But I have a score and all that too, so I think I'm okay. And hell, Astro belts are gonna be really nice in this regard too. Just finish it off, because the fire assault is probably gonna force a mutiny in a moment here too. I would like to destroy the deck though, but. How close are we to a lightning strike? Eight seconds. Hell. There. That seals the deal there. That was a weird match. I won't lie. My opponent essentially uh, gave up on me. And then they decided to put up a fight when there was only one ba battleship left. If they decide to put up a fight at the very beginning, then I might have trouble. But no, we got this weird, uh, match. I don't know what else there is I could really say, but at the same time, what can I learn from this to actually be helpful for next engagement? Gotta watch for the Phantom Shard bombs, I think, because if I underestimate the potential of that, it is, keep in mind, the reason this is scary is unlimited charges. And with the low crew, crew complement I already have, that can be a death sentence if it can hit my ships multiple times. But otherwise, it's really hard to gauge what I did wrong with that weird uh, kamikaze play. Okay, so we're going to get ourselves a possible rematch with Saracen, it looks like. Although, it's not possible, it's happening. Although, we kind of know what they're utilizing, although... I am going to have terrible luck trying to cripple them before they get close to me. I think it's safe to say. Sure, I may have felt uh, incredibly screwed over with my time with Jukari against Saracen, but I have terrible crew capacity this time around. Alright. Fun aside, let's see. What's, what is my strategy? Well... If I can get some really early engine critical hits is what it ultimately comes down to. I think is the moral of the story. I do seriously wonder if I want Disruption Overcharge since the cruisers only have 200 shields after all. Morale's not all that important. Although, since they are relying heavily, hmm, again, boarding's my main concern. I honestly don't know. Alright, now I'm losing my train of thought. Ultimately, just because of the boring potential is why I'm feeling I'm not really feeling confident in these matchups. It's for the same reason, of course, for Jukari. Why I don't think that's gonna go well either. I could go a mission dissipator and try and reveal them ASAP. That's a possibility too. 
Because again, I don't feel like I need Disruption Overcharge the best Mecha Dominator as possible. There is a lot of upgrade possibilities though, but I don't expect... Oh god, I don't I have t don't have time anymore, sadly. Um, I don't... What is it? My main concern, of course, is the crew and trying to keep my distance long enough. And heavily comes down to how quickly I can deal with their, uh... Or, I don't know what I'm trying to say. The point is, I need to get in their face as quickly as possible. Or at least start hitting them as soon as possible and then start potentially destroying engines. I am going to get revealed and they do have the range potential there. Receiving your order. That is kind of a given. I'm hoping a mission dissipator helps. So at least that way I can start shooting them immediately. The at least fury. the same time that they can shoot at me. Since I'm nowhere near a gas cloud, unless I want to try and... We are ready to serve. Unless I want to try and intercept their the fighters. Which I don't know how I feel about that. Because if I Machine want to have my... Uh, Light cruiser deal with those fighters, I should have launched them right away. Or, or at least have the frigates deal with them. Help con contribute is what I'm trying to say, damn it. I'm just really worried that this won't go well. And right now, I'm already losing this fight. So I am revealed. Not much I could do there in this regard. You have seized a strategic area. So we're gonna have to do a couple things, and that's to slow them the hell down, I guess. Probably the best thing I could do. I don't know if it's actually as useful as I make it sound. With matchless efficiency. I am getting shots off for time being, but if you want to boost, you're going to have to boost. I apologize again to the YouTube viewers if this is causing issues with vision seeing, but I am getting hits in. Oops. Yeah, that's really screws Saracen over, because now even the temporary damage is going to cause this to be an immediate loss. I apologize, I know that feeling because I've done it plenty before. So that's going to slow him down. This, this is not going as I kind of expected, truth be told. But let's not get complacent, because I am a little bit cramped and they are eventually getting close to me. And there is debris apparently too, blocking my shots. Let's not overlook this. I do at least have armor piercing. I've just yet to kill the actual engine, so... With matchless efficiency to serve the omnisire. I don't, I don't know what to say right now, aside from the fact that I've got to make sure my battleship doesn't power to cause a lot of unnecessary problems. And if I could stall for 30 seconds, then I actually do have a way to Keep just slow him down even further, despite this evasive maneuvers. The spirits obey. Transition begun. Machine spirit appeased. State your order. Now, should not be able to do a whole lot here. This bomb could affect. Receiving your order. Actually, enhance rotational drift. We are 
The one downside of having the flagship being cr cramped up with everything else, but... Let's not get complacent again. Boring damage is going to be a ridiculous. I don't know what to say there. That, well, it ultimately came down to the cold arms misclick. Let's be serious, since the engine cricklets, even temporaries, are now basically permanent for like almost two minutes. And that is kind of a death sentence when Saracen's entire strategy is to get within boarding range to really start crippling me. So, yeah, there's that. I almost kind of don't want to post this video, but at least post this match, because in all honesty, is it a practical example of what to do against Space Marines? I like to think the stalling tactics worked out well itself. Just realistically, I would expect the Space Marine opponent to just boost on through those uh, Ived Omni signs, especially if I aimed them too close, which is kind of why I aimed them as far away and with the celestial body kind of helping to restrict where Saracen can go. But I won't lie, especially when you combo it with the Kulexus Assassin that I'm pretty certain that was likely a factor too, I was probably going to suffer a terrible fate there. Because Space Marines, even with just the broadside boring, even the, was it, honor the chapter? There's enough boring damage there to kill off maybe two of my ships? At least with the crew damage immediately. Unless I willingly withhold using the Cardinal of the Omnisign for, to recharge my boosters. And use the Called Arms to kind of give me that longevity. Which even then, I think there's still enough boring potential to kill off two of my cruisers immediately. And then I lose access to my shield recharge, my evasive maneuvers, and all those other abilities. Okay, so we're having all sorts of different type of matchups that I kind of wasn't expecting since now We're facing off against the Azuyani And in theory this could go incredibly well for me where I was kind of terrified of Drukari mainly due to their boarding on top of their stealth maneuvers At least the Azuyani I can kind of keep consistent damage on them Especially if my opponent does not take disruption overcharge seriously if you've been watching my time when I played as Yanni, I have been trying to keep within, or at least keep an eye on where the gas clouds are. For when my hull field dies down too much, I will disengage with the ship that's getting targeted so they have an opportunity to regenerate their hull field. At least that's what I tried to do. It remains to be seen if I did enough for it to pay off in the long run. But I feel like I. I think I only lost one uh, Adeptus Mechanicus match at least. I think I have anyway. And that was against the triple battleships at that. I believe is what I was up against. So in theory, this could be pretty good. Again, the important factor is to stagger my lances a tiny bit. So that way I can maybe maximize my chance of them. Hmm, I gotta think of an upgrade too. Rad Tempest may not be a helpful, Supercharged Voice will be great, but again, Spear Crystal Lenses could heavily negate this, especially if they're just going LAS cannons. There's a lot of uncertainties here, but they're... Hmm. I don't know what else to grab though, otherwise that's a bit of the problem. I'm not sure how do I sh I'm not sure how exactly I should engage this outside the fact that I should reveal them early on and I think this tells me that it's three phoenixes if that's the case then I'll have to be mindful of the the pulsars reveal them as quickly as possible which thankfully I do have the fastest frigate Basically in the game, outside maybe the Eldari versions. So I should be able to spot them relatively well. Your order. 
but I do want to make sure that I have enough breathing room distance first. Machine spirit appeased. The idea is to hit them at max range possible Receiving to get the best you opportunity to hinder them. Area. And I did hear a light cruiser of some kind, or it could even be a frigate. I also can't remember how the points line up the best. Interceptors engaging. Uh, that's a bit of a mistake. A bit of a shame there, too. We are ready to I was not watching for fighters. With matchless efficiency. And I know I don't want to burn off my uh, charge appeased. the best. To and it's only two fighter squadrons, so I think I'm okay here. I hate that, though. So, like I already figured... Appeased. The enemy has seized ah, damn it. Area. That was not what I wanted in the slightest, but... Calculating vectors. Their hall field helps with this quite a bit. We are ready to serve. Engaging drive. Okay, so it's a light cruiser at that. Thankfully, I can easily outmaneuver them, but this gives me valuable intel. Why is it valuable? Well, for, most importantly... No frigates for a scanner pulse. Receiving your order. And actually, let's keep these all grouped up together, too. Vectors. That might be handy in this regard. State your order. Re power to and let's deny this thing. It's super... Oh, God. Active. Disengage. Disengage. Probably doesn't help very much, but... Your boarding isn't all that impressive, thankfully. The spirits obey. And let's see, do I actually... Yeah, I go the exact Stage same speed order. as them. Ah, uh, that's a shame. What I wanted to do was try and bait out endure. the Pulsar shots before the fighters revealed me. The that was the idea there. We are ready to serve. Receiving and let's see. Order. With matchless efficiency. Machine spirit appeased. Rouse the engines. It's really good damage early on at least, but we gotta be mindful of our light cruiser friend. Cause they're just gonna run until they hide themselves. They do have the hall field back up though. To serve the Omni Sire. And I did burn my combustion gauge, so keep that in mind, too. This is a good tell. My friend here just messed up. Although I did scanner pulse a little too preemptively, sadly. We are ready to serve. Because I... Oh! I, I could have known where they were because of the... Where they were grabbing the objective. Stupid me. I could have abused that, but I got too excited. Either way, we have frigates. I can use them to reveal the phoenixes, and that's really all I need to do. And I have fighters to help in that regard, too. Let's focus on getting these objectives, though. Rouse the engines to fury. Rouse the engines. We are ready to and ideally, if possible, try and reveal the... What is it? Try and destroy, reveal the light cruiser and destroy its deck. The enemy has accumulated Could be my own undoing, but strategic points. we will know momentarily. Interceptors engaging. State your order. Ah, uh, this is annoying because I can't quite see what the hell is going on. To serve the Omnisire. Engage engine red lines. You have seized a strategic area. State your order. Does not compute. All right. Receiving your order. The spirits obey. Okay, they are hitting. Generators pulse. damaged. Machine spirit appears. Let's see if we can at least. 
do what's necessary. And these are only bombers, so... I should be able to do something decent. Although, I messed up, damn it. I thought I gave you a move order. Generator permanently destroyed there. That's good. I should have done Maelstrom instead, but... Let's see if we can go after our friend here. Begin rearmament. To serve the Omnissire. And I do have Kalexis Assassin. We are ready to serve. So that's important to keep in mind too here. Heal thy wounded servant. Receiving your order. And the flagship thankfully is out of the fight. Now let's just use my built my ship to the best of their ability. Actually, uh, I thought I had super, uh, Nova Can available. Yep, one ship gone. Another one about to bite the dust. If I'm good about, I hit the wrong button. Damn it! I was trying to do car the Omni Science Cardinal, whatever the heck it's called. Either way. Let's focus on the important thing, which is, of course, the objective. Finish this... Finish this Phoenix off. And ideally... Hunt this thing down. Right, let's switch the reload stance and... Finish off our foe. Yeah. Now I'm a little bit of a disorganized mess, but... And I could have done broadside boarding, too, to be fair. But, I think the damage is done. Let's destroy the deck. Just in case of any sneaky shenanigans. Oh. Aw, oh, lucky hits. Well, when I'm able to shoot you for the major majority of the fight, those hits are bound to happen. Although, they are battle cruisers, so I guess there is some merit to what he's saying. But that is also part of the reason why I want to engage them or at least have vision on them at maximum range possible. I am just upset with myself that I messed up a little bit on the frigate control. Because there was a possibility for my frigates to avoid engagement multiple times. And I squandered it a lot. Which, if anything, that is really key. Since if they go back into the gas cloud, just to hide themselves or at least lose the signal that makes it so much harder for me to do damage to them as you've also seen on the other end if you watch my time with the Aziani